Tai for holding this conference, uh, to the Outsiders Movement for allowing me to speak on their behalf, to you, the audience, good morning. Good morning. Before I get into it, I see someone coming in, so I'm just kind of prolong it just a couple of seconds just so they can have a seat. Okay, so I have about 15 to 20 minutes to talk to you guys, so I'm trying to get like as much as I can in those 15 minutes, okay? And so in those 15 minutes, I want to be personal with you guys. I want to be transparent. Is that cool? Okay. Is that all right? Okay, so before I, I begin my transparency, I have a question for you all. And the question is, how many of you like transition? In other words, how many of you like change? Drastic change, small change, unexpected change. See, that's actually kind of surprising. See, most people <laughs> don't enjoy change because change makes them uncomfortable, like it, it takes you out of your element, right? But, okay, so let me, let me ask you in another way. How many of you like getting better? How many of you like growing? Whether that be in your career, in your education, in your relationships at home, personally, how many of you enjoy improvement? I see the funny thing about that is, both of those questions are actually one and the same. See, we tend to want to grow without wanting to change. We tend to want to reach that next step without having to adapt. We want to reach life's new enhancements without embracing the transitions in which it's required to do so. It's kind of like we want to learn how to swim without getting in the pool. And you can, you can research it, and you can take pictures of the ocean, and you can buy all this equipment, all this equipment but until you decide to immerse yourself in that water, what? you will never know how to truly swim, right? So, Lin Quang says that, uh, he's a philosopher, he says that change leads to innovation, and innovation leads to progress. So essentially what he's saying is that change can lead to progress. And so, change is another word for transition, which is exactly what the Outsiders Movement has done from being just a radio show. So I thought about it. You know, what, what is change? What does change truly mean? See, I don't know about you, but I'm a man of definition. And I believe that anything you do in life, anything at all, requires the right definition. Because how you define your life will be the outcome of such life, right? So, you know, I looked it up. What's the definition of change? What's the definition of transition? I'm going to read it to you. It says that, uh, the dictionary says that transition is the process or period of changing from one condition to another. Now watch this. A synonym for transition it's transformation. Everybody say transformation. Transformation. One more time. Transformation. Okay, keep that word transformation, we'll, we'll come back to it. But to give you an example of transitioning, um, how many of you remember when you were a little kid, and I did this all the time, especially towards the high schoolers 